I see it, 20 years is definitely good. He said 20 to 30, and 30 sounds even better, right? Because he won't be getting out till he's in his early 60s. I'm going to say all critics right to Tia and welcome back to Hangugo Mogyo Ilayao. And today we're going to be talking about two important people that have also sparked waves in the Me Too movement in South Korea. Now, I'm sure you guys already knew that I'm talking about Chung Jung Hyung and what other guy's name? Lee Sun Young, who is also known as Sun Mi from Big Bang, or at least formally. But pretty much gonna get into my opinions on the situation and what I think needs to be done about these two. And pretty much my information about the situation comes from Asian Boss and how I guess normal Korean people feel about it and my opinions to take on this situation since I personally find Asian Boss to be a trustworthy source. So yeah, that's pretty much I guess where my excited information is coming from. You can just, their video, the videos of this are pretty recent so you can just, I'll put their channel in a link down below or somewhere in the video and you can just go look at their, or just look, you can just look up their channel too and go see those videos for yourself about what's going on and like their information that they provided on the situation. And here's the thing about Sumi. So the thing with Big Bang, they've, they've had lots of controversies and the way I see it, I don't know if they're going to survive this one. I think only one person pretty much in the entire band, although I could be wrong. And I think it's Taeyong who is the only person who hasn't really had any controversy whatsoever. But with all these controversies lined up, I, mean, I think the band is probably... And with the fact that they're doing a lot of solo stuff, it's probably going to fall apart. Whereas Sumi will probably just try to become a private citizen. And he might show up again later, but... I honestly don't think he's probably going to go to jail for anything, even though he had this whole prostitution ring going on in his bar. I mean, it kind of just is what it is with him, and then we might just have to move on. Now, it might lead to investigation of other K-pop groups, especially big ones, and other and seeing whether or not there are other prostitution rings or other things like this going on in the K-pop industry, which would be a good thing to see if there are other illegal activities. I personally think like I have mixed feelings about prostitution obviously I don't think that people should be sold into it or anything like that and I think that you know illegal prostitution and sex trafficking needs to be stopped but I do believe if it's regulated and you allow women who are willing to go into it to just go into it then it could be a good thing but I do believe that because it's generally not the case in South Korea there probably does need to be a crackdown on stuff like this and seeing whether or not people being forced into this especially other k-pop stars or trainee girls and even the male ones too. Now, as for Chong Jun Young. Okay, so I pretty much got most of my information about this situation and all this stuff from Asian Boss for both Sun Yi and um, Chong Jun Young. I mean, even though I am not into the K pop fan or whatnot, I saw a lot of this all over my feed because I, you know, am interested in lots of things Korea related and do watch a lot of Korean vlogs and whatnot. So, you know, I just went to Asian Boss, watched the videos, and one guy said that he should probably be in jail for 20 years to 7 years. The sentence is way too light. And the way I see it, 20 years is definitely good. He said 20 to 30, and 30 sounds even better, right? Because he won't be getting out till he's in his early 60s. But I think 7 years is too light for stuff like this going up. Because this man, he put in a group chat videos of him, like, he taking videos of him having sex with women and they didn't consent to him taking videos or putting in a group chat. Listen, I don't think that it's right at all that he took any videos, but here's the thing. If you were, if he was smart, he should have just not showed the videos to anyone. Because even though his trash friends, who should also get probably 10 years in jail because they did nothing, I mean, yes, you could argue, oh, well, they were just put in a group chat. So of course they, I mean, so how is that their fault? It's not their fault that he put that in the group chat, but it is their fault for doing nothing by not telling the police. And they could have shared it with any number of people, which also puts those poor women at risk. So if he was smart, he would have just kept the videos to himself and never showed them to anyone, never had them leaked. And even if he got his phone hacked, then yeah, that would have been a good thing because he shouldn't have done it anyway. So I don't at all condone his actions, but I just think it's really stupid when guys that go around sharing themselves doing these illegal activities because eventually it's going to come to hurt you. And I'm really glad that it did. And I really do think that seven years is too little time 
because seven, in seven years, he can say, oh, well, I'm a better person than I was now, pick himself up, and then lots of people might say, okay, well, I think he is better, and then go do the same thing again. Okay, that's generally, a lot of times, people who do this kind of stuff, they're repeat offenders, and they don't necessarily become rejuvenated, even though he didn't, as far as I know, and as far as I learned from Asian boss, even though he didn't rape anyone, he still did something illegal, and he did something horrible, it could and be endangering somebody by sharing this information so i don't know what's gonna happen to them but and i mean i guess he has been arrested which is great and he has pretty much admitted to this stuff but i do hope that justice is served and i do hope that the people in the group chat also get what they deserve so pretty much that's all that i've got for you guys today and you know again go check out asian boss and you know just type in Asian boss, Chung Jin Yong, or Asian boss, um, Sumi, and you can go find their videos on this topic. And Koreans on the street, their street interviews take on this. So please follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. And come back on Tuesday for another Japanese Tuesday stuff. I should try to figure out what I'm going to be doing these things earlier, but you know, it is what it is. It's that busy time of the semester, friends.